Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone, Tiff Benson here and in today's video we're going to talk about the best scents to wear for summer for women. This is the designer edition so I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment right now, let me know what fragrances you've been wearing this summer. Your girl is super curious and let's just jump right into the video. First fragrance that we have here is Dior Rose and Roses. It came out in 2020 from the House of Dior. It's a master perfumer here, Francois de Marche. Here we have White Musk, the mask rose, bergamot, mandarin. It's really, really beautiful. I absolutely adore this fragrance. If you've been following me on Instagram and even on TikTok, then you see that I recently posted about this scent. I wore this on the red carpet for the Fragrance Foundation Awards. And when I tell you, I received so many compliments that night from wearing this scent. I actually wore it because Francois de Marche was being honored that night and it just felt like a fitting fragrance for the event. Summertime cool, you can wear it day and night, elegant affairs, elevated affairs, casual moments. I am obsessed with this scent and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed. Another fragrance that I've really been obsessed with since the moment I purchased it, this is from Tiffany & Co and it is rose gold now this one came out in 2021 perfumer here is jerome epinette oh my god i just oh ooh, ooh, ooh. i love this one for date night it's very very sexy it's attention getting it has a lot of sillage a lot of presence it's a musky floral with notes of iris woods black currant in the top notes in the base notes there is musk and ambrette i don't know i just adore this particular fragrance i think it's super super wearable and very nice i believe for date night in the summer quite sexy and we like that Ooh, so another fragrance that i've been obsessing over this was actually a gift this is chanel Le rouge number one. Oof, my god i just oh. I really like this one a lot. This one is giving right out of the shower. If you have any of their hand lotion ancillaries, to me, this smells like that. Top notes here are red berries and citruses. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, and orange blossom. And in the base notes, we have iris and musk. This is something new for the house of Chanel as this one has 97% natu naturally derived ingredients. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of brands getting into the natural fragrance area. This is the first one from Chanel and I really do like it. This would be perfect for those type of people who do not like a lot of fragrance around them. It's certainly a resprayer, refresher throughout the day. It has that really nice pressurized mist as well. It's light, wearable, and I love it, love it, love it for summer. It's so, so good. Glad I received it as a gift. Up next, we have Gucci Flora. This is Gorgeous Gardenia from the house of Gucci. We just love a good Gucci moment, and the packaging is stunning. I mean, don't you agree? Look how beautiful that packaging is. Well, it's created by master perfumer Alberto Morias, and it has a pressurized spray, which I also love and adore. Notes here are are hair blossom, gardenia, jasmine, brown sugar, mm, and patchouli. Something about brown sugar in a fragrance kind of just feels very playful and alive and fun and youthful. Also, I've been talking about this on TikTok and IG as well, so make sure you follow your girl there because that's where I'll be giving all my fragrance updates. Love that one for summer. It's light and fresh and floral and fun. The fragrance that is new to my collection. This one came out in 2021. It's from, let me get her bow on straight, present her well to you. It's from the house of Dolce and Gabbana. It is Dolce Rose. So this is a fresh and fruity floral fragrance. It has notes of red currant, green apple, mandarin orange it's making my mouth water as i talk about it because it, it just smells so delicious middle notes are rose white peach magnolia base notes are white musk white wood and sandalwood i love this one for date night it's very seductive and like you know 
playful and just there's a lot of sensuality coming out of this fragrance and I always find it very interesting when perfumes can evoke emotion like that compliment getting scent as well just spraying it on because I love her so much I'd highly recommend this one especially if you're looking for something to wear out this is giving me date night vibes for sure I love this one very happy to have it in my collection and it's perfect for summer. Oldie but goodie, you can't go wrong. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. This will probably always make my countdown because I just think it is a beautiful masterpiece of a fragrance. This is Alien from Terry Mugler. Now, this one came out in 2005. Master perfumer here, Dominique Robion. It has notes of jasmine, woods, and ambery notes. It has a lot of sillage as well. This is something that has present around it and when you wear it people will definitely smell it around you but it's not overpowering and it's also something that I like to wear for evenings in the summer I would also say this is a great transitional fragrance and it's interesting because each season will give you a different vibe of this scent for those of you who love fragrance I'm sure you know what I mean and especially if you love this scent you can chime in in the comments and give your take because I know at least on my skin it gives me a little bit of something different whenever I wear it depending on the temperature outside definitely try this one out if you have not already it's it's a special one for sure. So we talked about a lot of amber and woods and we also talked about a lot of rose but now we're getting into something that's a little bit more sweet a little fruity very fruity I should say this is Versace Dylan Ballou. Love it since its first debut in 2017. Something about this scent, beyond it being fruity with a bit of floral, it almost smells a little salty. It's also making my mouth water as I discuss it here with you. So the notes here are Granny Smith apple, black currants, clover, peach, rose hip, rose jasmine, white musk, striax, and patchouli. Oh, oh my gosh. This is giving me salty sherbet. Love the way this performs in the summer hot weather. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. This also gives me date night vibes too. It's very sexy and glamorous, which you know, I love a little bit of glamour in my everyday life so highly recommending this one definitely give it a try she's a beauty so one of my favorite fragrances possibly of all time maybe top 10 from the house of tom ford this is soleil brulant and i just adore this fragrance wow 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 this came out in 2021 it has ambery Ness, woodiness, citrusiness. Notes here are pink pepper, bergamot, mandarin, honey, orange blossom, one of my favorite notes of all time. Resin, which you get a lot of. Amber, woody notes, leather, and vetiver. This to me just smells like someone who is luxuriating, living their best life, sitting poolside while they bake and I mean like really big in the sun. It has a lot of presence. It's very resinous. It's also quite sweet with the honey. If I were to pull the most two dynamic notes from this fragrance, it would definitely be the resin and the honey. It's, it's sweet and kind of um, sappy. And of course, the orange blossom is there to kind of just give it that overall luxurious floral feel. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I think it works perfectly with the next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about, which is also from the house of Tom Ford. Love this for summer, love this for fall. I even love it secretly for winter, layered, just saying. And then, right, so we were just talking about a layering moment. This next fragrance works perfectly layered with that or on its own. This is Tom Ford Tuberous New. Obsessed with this fragrance. I mean, wow, wow, wow. Oof, oh my God. Came out in 2021. 2021 was a big year for Tom Ford, apparently. Love the white bottle. Love and adore the opening of this scent. To me, this is like one of the most beautiful openings of a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. The notes here are lily, jasmine, Szechuan pepper, tuberose, striax, cacao, benzoin, suede, oud, musk, and tonka bean. There's not a day that goes by when I wear it that I don't receive compliments which is always a plus when i was looking to get these fragrances i i believe this one 
One of them was sent to me from the House of Tom Ford, but one of them I purchased on my own. I can't remember which one because it's all a blur when it comes to fragrances. But when I first experienced these two, I couldn't decide which fragrance I wanted to buy because you know, Tom Ford is, it's quite expensive even for me as a perfumista. And I would go to the mall, I would get a pretzel and I would get a bubble tea. <laughs> And I would also go to Neiman Marcus and smell a bunch of different fragrances. Like, you know, that was just my thing. And these were the two that I was always kind of researching, right? So after a while, I was like, you know what? These smell glorious together. Happy to have them both in my collection. I think you can't go wrong with either of these. This one is giving me very elegant, very sophisticated. My boyfriend even loves this scent and he wears this as well. He loves it when I wear it. There's just something really special about it that I love and um, I'm happy to have it in my collection. I also like it a lot for the cooler months as well. There is a touch of warmth with the sweetness around it. It's just so beautiful. You have to smell it, you have to try it, you have to layer it together, you will be obsessed. Last but certainly not least is a fragrance from the house of Cartier, one of my favorite fragrances. Poss you know, this might make top 10 of all time, maybe for summer, even all year round. I mean, I'm obsessed with it. This one came out in 2021. 2021 was obviously a good year of fragrance. Notes here are violet, powdery iris, woody notes. There's also fruity notes in here. And the fruity notes are not specified, but this is giving, giving me very fruit cocktail vibes. If you follow me on Instagram, I have posted about this fragrance when I really really love something I want you all to know about it which is why I try to post as much as I can about the fragrances that I love especially in feed and this was certainly one of them whenever I wear it again with the compliments it is just glorious lots of sillage beautiful opening feminine and oh, it's just glorious I love it for summer it is it also has a pressurized sprayer absolutely positively my favorite you will love this one if you get this so did you enjoy this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know what fragrances you've been wearing down in the comments your girl is super curious don't forget the conversation continues in my private group the fragrance society i will leave a link in the description so that you can stay in the know of all things fragrance love you forever my friends don't forget to watch what's up next and i will catch you in the next one bye